Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. So in this video, I really want to talk about uh, the ingredients in your skincare product. Ever since my skin got problems, I started paying attention on the diet and uh, skincare products. Right now, my skin got a lot of better. I don't have foundation on my skin, so my cheeks are getting less red and less red. Even though my cheek is not flawless, but it, it looks pretty good. I started a very strict diet and skincare. I have been on this strict diet and skincare for almost two weeks. So after my skin totally cleaned up, I will show you guys my experience. This video is about the harmful ingredients in your product. There are tons of popular skincare products have those ingredients. So firstly, let's give you some examples of what other harmful ingredients. The first one is alcohol. Even though it feels good when you use it, but in the long term, alcohol will damage your skin barrier. Next one is uh, fragrance. I remember before when the skin product smells good, then I like it. But uh, if your product contains fragrance, even though it smells good, it will harm your skin. If you have sensitive skin, it will irritate your skin. And if you use it so many years, it might harm your hormones and cause cancer. And the next one is uh, phenoxyethanol. This ingredient is a very popular in skincare products. And I heard about this ingredient. It's banned in Japan, but it's not banned in America and uh, a lot of other countries. This ingredient can irritate your skin and uh, your eyes. And another one is Malassezia. A lot of product has this ingredient and this ingredient will cause you fungal acne. So almost under all the product reviews, few percentage people will complain this product will give you breakout. And next one is Soffit. This ingredient will affect your skin barriers. So there are a lot of uh, bad chemical ingredients in your skin product. I will give the link of this article. So this article listed all the bad ingredients. So check it out. Um, and I also find a super great website. And on this website, you can check all the ingredients in your product and will tell you if it's safe or not. So this website is called SkinCharisma.com. Do you guys curious what ingredient in this? So this face wash is known to be the top face wash for sensitive skin and to safe to use. So if you read the ingredient, it has fragrance and phenoxyethanol. And I also looked up the ingredient on the skincharisma.com and those are other harmful ingredients in this product. Like the sulfate, it's bad for all your skin. And the paraben. What is a paraben? Paraben is preservative. So my experience using it, it does have strong fragrance smell. It didn't harm my skin. It didn't improve my skin. So my cheeks were still red when I use it but now I'm not using it because it's got a lot of harmful ingredients and it didn't improve my skin I'll already give you the link in the description box I also tried the same brand moisturizer somehow every time when I use it it will cause me breakout so last time I used it I had a lot of a small like fungal acne on my forehead after I stopped using it then it got better I don't why it's caused me breakout because according to the skincharisma.com it doesn't contain the ingredient that causes fungal acne but uh, it has silicone and an EU allergen let's read the ingredient so it has uh, avocado oil so this one is good for dry skin but it's bad for all your skin my forehead was dry and oil at the same time so after I use it it made my forehead even more oily. It was not comfortable use it. And what other ingredient? Citric acid. The citric acid is anti-aging, but uh, it's bad for sensitive skin. If you want to read all the ingredients, I'll give the link in the description box. It's very important and interesting to know what ingredient. So the next one, this moisturizer, it's super popular. It's got really good reviews. And uh, this brand, Carivy, is uh, 
develop the dermatologist. So it's supposed to save. Before knowing the ingredient, every time when I use it, it gives me breakout. I tried three times. I just want to make sure I really want to love this brand because it's supposed to be safe and you can easily to buy it. Are you curious about the ingredient? So this product is not fungal acne free. So that's why it's cost me acne and it has silicone and uh, paraben. It does have a good ingredient in it, but it also has harmful ingredients. So according to skincharisma.com, this product is bad for all your skin and um, it's trigger fungal acne. It has uh, silicone and uh, fragrance preservative. But I don't want to throw it away, but I don't think I will use those on my face. Maybe I will use those on my body. And another popular brand is Neutrogena. I tried the Neutrogena on the spot acne treatment. So before I didn't know what I had it was not acne. It looks like acne, but it's not uh, the kind of acne. Before when I got the red bump and I put this one on, it didn't work. So what ingredient in this product? Wow, I can't believe it. This product can cause fungal acne. It has silicone and paraben. It has two ingredients that trigger fungal acne, fragrance and preservative. Let's look at some of popular Korean products that I used. This is the Skin Food Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. This product has a very positive reviews and before when my skin got problems, I thought this was good too. This was comfortable to use and um, it did make my skin soft after I use it. But now not now. So after my skin developing to sensitive skin, I can't use it. The last time I used it, it make my cheeks red. So what ingredient in it? According to this website, so it has seven ingredients can trigger fungal acne. And of course, this one has uh, fragrance and uh, phenoxyacinol. If you have red cheeks, you really need to stay away. It made my red cheeks worse. So this product was good when my skin was not sensitive. I don't want to waste it, so I will use it on my legs. <laughs> it does smell super good, but the fragrance is not good for your skin in the long term. Oh, I love the smell, really. <laughs> it makes me want to eat it. So the next one is the Face Shop. Korean skin product smells super super good. <laughs> I love their smell, but uh, their fragrance. So according to the website, it has paraben and it can trigger fungal acne. It has a lot of ingredients that trigger fungal acne. And it has phenoxyacinol. This ingredient is very harmful. I want to use it, it smells good. And when I used it, it worked fine. But after I read the ingredient, I don't think I will use it. I guess I could use it for body wash. So the next two are skin food and I loved it. It smells super good. So before I try those, it made my skin soft. And this toner is very oil you can chew. But now I can't use it. So the last time when I use this cream, it's so dry. It dries my skin out. Let's read the ingredient. According to this website, it can trigger fungal acne. Bad for sensitive skin and uh, oil your skin. I don't know why it's, it's bad for all your skin it really dries me out of course it has fragrance i really want to love it the moisturizer is very nice it smells so good the last time when i used it it dries my forehead out and it made my cheeks itchy so when your skin is sensitive you just need to be very very careful on the ingredients I saved this set because I really really want to use it in the summertime but after I read the ingredient, it's not safe to use it and uh, my skin reacted bad when I used the cream so I can't use it now and uh, aloe 
gel. This is from Natural Republic. This aloe gel is super popular and for myself, I used a whole jar of it and this is the second jar. I liked it, especially in the summer, it doesn't make my skin oily, but the last time I used it, it dries me out. It dries my forehead out and it makes my skin really really tight, but on the Skincare with Smile website, it said it doesn't contain alcohol. It includes fragrance and uh, phenoxy ethanol. So I don't think I will use it again. I loved it before. I don't know why it says all your free. Right now, when I smell it, I can smell alcohol. I saved the set. I wanted to use those. Too bad uh, I can't use it now. So I already looked it up. Those are all have harmful ingredients. I actually tried those two recently on my cheeks. Didn't help my skin and those irritated my cheeks. The next set is also very popular. It's Etude House Wonder Pour. Last summer I was mainly use this set. See it's almost gone. So this set didn't irritate my skin but it didn't help my skin after I got problem. This toner contains alcohol. Of course, when you use it, it will feel comfortable and make your pore tight. But for a long term, alcohol will damage your skin barrier. I think my skin barrier has been damaged because my cheeks was not sensitive at all. Before, I could use a lot of skin product without any problems. And for the cleanser, so I liked the cleanser so much. Almost gone. And another cleanser from the same brand, I liked those. But right now, I cannot use face wash. So not even the gentle ones. I have been washing my face just with water and when I look the ingredient, so this one has a peppermint extract. It's bad for sensitive skin and there are a lot of uh, ingredients in it. Can trigger fungal acne. Too bad, I can't use those now. And another popular and fun product, the Etude House Bubble Tea Sleep Pack. I used the whole bottle of green tea. It was fine for my skin. It just felt sticky. I don't think I will use those ever again. Obviously, it's got colors, fragrance, and after I read the ingredient, it has alcohol and uh, it has uh, some ingredients that trigger fungal acne. Some ingredients is bad for sensitive skin. Why I didn't notice the smell? It's so strong. And those face masks, I got a huge pack of it. All of those masks has fragrance in it. Sorry, I can't use anything that has fragrance. Those irritate my skin. I'm actually glad my skin got bad because my skin got bad. So I started to learn the ingredient and eat healthier. It's a good thing. It makes me pay more attention on the health and eat healthier. Be careful on the ingredients. Our skin is not chemical industry. It's really really bad when I put um, a lot of chemicals on my skin, just different kind of chemicals. You probably know, I have been putting all kinds of chemical, all kinds of stuff on my skin. I think over two years, right? And those chemicals finally harmed my skin. I'm glad it's not too late to stop using them. So I started using natural ingredient, and of course, not all natural ingredient works. On my cheeks, my cheeks just super super sensitive to the product, not even the natural ones. After my skin totally cleaned up, I will share my new skincare routine. And that routine might be the most simple skincare routine. I have the skincare for my cheeks and for my T-zone is different. <laughs> Things I can put on my forehead, maybe I can put on my cheeks. It's getting better and better. Even though my red cheeks are getting better, but uh, sometimes I still have a itchy red bump. I want to find out uh, what I'm allergic to. So that's all for today. I talk so much in this video. My throat is kind of sore actually. Please make comments on what skin product you are using. Check out the ingredient on this website and tell me if there are harmful ingredient in it. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in next video soon. Bye bye.